Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to another episode. Today, first, actually, I wanted to give a big thank you to everyone that's supporting me on the Patreon and also subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe. That would mean the world to me. But in today's episode, we're going to be talking about what stocks I would buy if I started a brand new portfolio. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, welcome back to the studio. And today's episode, like I said before, we're gonna be talking about if I were to start a new portfolio, what are the stocks and what are the sectors that I would invest in personally? And fundamentally, the best places to look at are places that you are familiar with. And so some of the sectors that I'm personally familiar with go anywhere from anything that's disruptive, right? That's the things that I like to pay attention to. Uh, technology is a big factor to that, but it's not the only one. So some of the sectors are things like artificial intelligence, 3D printing, real estate, renewable energy, genomics, you know, EVs, fintech, virtual reality, AR, all types of things like that, even space. All those things are really fascinating to me. And a lot of the stocks I'm already invested into right now are all in that space. And of course, there are others that are not necessarily considered in that space that I also have some positions in. But in today's episode, I wanted to share with you guys if I were to start all over with just the knowledge that I have now, but start a brand new portfolio, what are the stocks that I would be picking today and kind of looking at potentially adding a position in. This is obviously not investment advice. These are just stocks that I personally like already. Some of the stocks valuations that I mentioned today are a little bit high. So I do obviously advise if you are looking to enter a position, I always say that it's best to enter over time, buy in over time. And if you happen to see something on discount, it's better to buy it on a discount on a red day than if you're buying it on an all time high. So without further ado, let's talk about some of the stocks that I would personally pick if I was starting a new portfolio. Some of the big names, of course, these are the blue chip stocks. These are the best stocks to pick, especially if we're talking five, 10 years ago, you know, things like Microsoft, Google, Apple, Tesla, and I have to throw Amazon on the list as well, because these are companies that are maybe trading at a pretty high valuation, but all in all, in fact, these are some of the biggest companies I see growing in the next 5, 10, 15 years. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to have the best rate of return as far as stock goes, but these are the businesses that are going to grow the most and become multi-trillion dollar businesses in the coming years. Now, I did mention 3D printing, and I have a video on a couple stocks that I personally really, really like in the 3D printing space. But I wanted to mention the companies if you haven't seen those videos before. So SSYS, NNDM, and 3D Systems are all great picks if you're looking to invest in the 3D printing space. The renewable energy sector has been booming with names like Tesla, Neo and others like CCIV, which hasn't even officially mentioned who they're going to partner with. Supposedly, it's going to be Lucid Motors, which is another EV play. But a couple others that you might have not heard of before is Plug Power and DQ. If you have, stick around because I got a lot more names on this list for you guys to go check out. As you guys probably know, aerospace technology has grown over the years. And a few names, of course, you know, Virgin Galactic, but a few private companies as well that I wish would go public is like SpaceX and Blue Origin. And unfortunately, they're not public companies, but some public names that I think you guys could look into possibly if you were looking to add some aerospace plays into your portfolio is obviously SPCE, which is Virgin Galactic, but also LMT, MAXR, and IEC Electronics. Again, the valuations on those might be high right now, but if you get them at a discount or like I mentioned before, buying in over time is a great strategy to enter positions that are on the up and up. Another sector that I really personally like is genomics. And a lot of you guys have been talking about CRISPR. I've been talking about CRISPR for a long time, but a new one that a lot of people have been hurting around is BNGO. And both these, if you can get them on a discount, are a great, great value growth play. If you can't, they're obviously strictly growth plays in that case, but no matter what, they are great companies to be investing in long term, especially when looking into the next five, 10 and 20 years. And of course, you know, I like fintech. And so in the fintech space, I've personally been investing in Square and PayPal for a very, very long time. But in addition, I've also been buying 
Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I'm considering adding a small position in an innovative company called Humble. Now I haven't dove too deep into that company yet, but I might be thinking of doing a video on them soon. If you're interested, let me know down in the comment section below and I'm more than happy to do a video on them once I've dug in a little bit deeper on this company. Now the last space we're gonna be talking about today is VR, virtual reality. And a couple names on this list are companies like Facebook, Sony, and ticker symbol V-U-Z-I, which is Vuzix Corp. Now go check those out if you're interested in VR. There's obviously other names like Snapchat and Apple's working on their own VR set, but these are the companies that have already established themselves as VR type plays. So go check those out. And if you have any comments, leave them down in the comment section below. I always see and reply to all my comments. If you haven't already, go smash the subscribe button because that really helps out. And if you like this video and you got some value out of this video, go smash the like button as well. So without further ado, hopefully you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.